What's going on explorers welcome back to the channel and I have another episode of the orange tip for you this time we're taking a look at the Novridge's new SSG 10 now Novridge was nice enough to send me one of these to try out and first impressions I really like the gun uh, the one thing that jumped out at me is how light it is compared to my other bolt action snipers like the Blazer R93 and even my real compact SRS it's significantly lighter now the other thing I like is the sturdy construction it feels solid there's no movement no wobble anywhere and the bolt is extremely smooth which is important if you ever shot a spring sniper rifle anyhow this is not a review of the gun I'm here to address a tiny issue that causes big problems with the North American version as far as I know I think the North American is a little different after the initial impressions I of course needed to test the gun so I loaded it with some BBs took it out to the back to my little range that I have that's, that's 120 feet um, to the target that's a human sized target and I noticed a big inconsistency now the gun would shoot fine and hit the target and then once in a while the BBs just would fly off wildly to the right or left or even up to the point where I could hit the shed to the right and that's a major variation it's like four feet at 120 feet so you could imagine that's useless accuracy so I didn't think the gun is naturally that inaccurate and I mean it's advertised as being a good sniper rifle starter or even you know advanced um, so I figured there's something wrong and what I had the feeling was happening was the BB was hitting them the orange cap on the front it's making contact after it leaves the barrel and then taking a look at the cap closer I noticed um, where the barrel ends and the cap begins the cap gets real narrow to the point where it's just slightly bigger than the BB so what I was figuring was happening is if the barrels just a little off or if it shakes or wobbles or it's a little misaligned the BB is hitting the cap on the way out and of course once you do that you're totally throwing off any accuracy so that was my suspicion I contacted Novridge about it telling him what's happening and he sent me a link back to how to remove the cap um, the way you do it is you knock out the pin that holds it in place underneath the barrel and you actually knock it inside since it's set in there now just removing the cap I could tell the accuracy has imp had improved so it was 100% that was what was causing the problem now obviously I don't want to run around with a exposed front end of the gun so what I decided to do to fix the problem was drill out the opening of the orange cap and make it wider so I just used the fat drill bit to get it wide and then I used the step drill bit to kind of crown the front of it so it kind of widens to the front this this way it gives it a kind of unique look and it guarantees nothing will get in the way of the BB's flight Additionally, I also designed and made a polyurethane spacer that would hold the barrel in the front so at the very last path it would have some extra support. After that, since I already had the cap off, I decided let's get rid of the orange paint. Uh, so I threw it into some stripping compound and let it sit for about 8 hours. At that point, I was able to pretty much peel off the paint with just a little bit of brushing with the edge of a knife and clean it up and then I decided to spray paint the black to match the rest of the gun so once that was dry I put it back on and one thing I want to point out uh, the threads are CCW so just like our flash hider threads are usually CCW I like the fact that the thread of the cap that goes into the outer barrel is the same path this way if you're ever adding a suppressor or something when you go to tighten it you're tightening everything instead of always fighting that CCW versus clockwise thread so after that I tried a couple different BB weights and different brands and this gun seems to like the ASG 0.43 gram BBs for whatever reason and the accuracy is greatly improved as you can see it's pretty much almost 100% hit rate at 120 feet on the body at a human sized target which is really good we're gonna have to take it out to a real game and see how it does in that but I have really high expectations for it now that I've got the little accuracy issue fixed so it's kind of a small tip but if you don't do this your accuracy could be out the window so it's an important little fix uh, if you have an SSG 10 or any gun that's you're noticing some insane flyers take a look at the front see if there's something in the path of the BB and maybe you use the same approach to drill that out if you enjoyed this tutorial hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one